Hey guys and welcome back to another Unrenching tutorial. Today it's just going to be a nice and quick one, something which some of you might already know and might seem quite obvious, however this is something which you might not know how to do already, so I'm going to go over how to do this. And that is upgrading your UE4 project to UE5. Now I believe these have to be UE4.25 or later, I haven't tried it with before but I'm pretty sure I remember them saying it had to be 0.25 or later. So what you can do is you can upgrade your project to 0.25 or later and then upgrade it to 5. So I'm going to be showing you how to go from this project in UE4 to this project in UE5. It's the exact same thing, but just in a different game engine. So that everything is the exact same. You'll see we have all the same folders and files in here, as you can see like this, if I show you in here, and it all works the exact same way too. So if I just get in this bear trap and test it out and hit play, what we can see is that obviously this is going to happen here. The bear trap is active. And all that and then if we to do this in UE5 this should also still work the exact same way so if we get in here let me move the player out sorry this is from a previous tutorial uh, let me just move it out a little bit like this hit play what we should see is that obviously it's compiling the shaders but this still works the exact same way so with that brief overview this is what I'm going to be going over today upgrading your project from UE4 to UE5 so without further ado Let's get right into it. So I'm going to close these projects and get started. So the first thing you want to do is you don't actually need your UE4 project open. So I'm going to close that. And then we also want to open up our UE5. So we press our UE5 tab at the bottom here just to open it up. And once you've got your Unreal project browser open, what we can do is just find our project which we want to upgrade. So for me, that's just going to be my horror tutorial project file I have here. So select it. Then in the bottom right, we're going to press open. And you'll see you have this here, convert project. This project was made with a different version of Unreal Engine. Would you like to basically convert it? So what we're going to do is open a copy. It's creating a copy of your project and that is now all you need to do. So again, it's very simple, but some people might not know how to do this. So what this is doing is it is actually creating a separate copy of it. So you will have the original project and this new project in Unreal 5 as two different versions. So you can still switch between the other one and you obviously have that as a backup as well. In case something goes wrong, you've still got the original project file there. So you also do need to be wary that this is going to take up more space because obviously you now have two versions of the same project. So if you want, you can delete the old Unreal 4 version if you wanted to. I'd recommend keeping it for a little bit anyway, especially since this is still only early access. However, obviously keep that in mind. So again, this is all you need to do. It's now creating a copy of it. So we've now got Unreal 4 and Unreal 5 with the same project in both. Nice and simple, very easy to do. All you do is basically just try to open it in the new Unreal 5 browser and that should now work perfectly for you giving you the Unreal 5 version. Now you may get this come up as well, missing plugin. That's basically just, I had a plugin in Unreal Engine 4 which is no longer available in Unreal Engine 5. So what I'm gonna do is press yes. It will just remove that plugin from the Unreal Engine 5 version and launch the project no problem. And so you see now we've got this version here. So you see in the bottom right it says project files update, would you like to update it? I think that's just because a newer version has come out since I last updated my engine. I'm going to press not now, but you can obviously press update there if you wanted to. But this is it. We've now got the new version of our project from Unreal Engine 4 into Unreal Engine 5. So we can use all of the new features in Unreal Engine 5 like this, which is going to be perfect for what you want to do. So again, a nice, quick and simple video, but something which a lot of people don't know how to do and just want something to explain it. So here we are. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.